Pastor Steve. Welcome to Victory Harbor. We're so glad you guys are in service with us. Let's lift up the Lord today. He's totally worthy. Today's sermon nugget is Jinx in your armor. We're in a war. We're in a war just like a war was in World War I, World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the Gulf War, and every skirmish ever since. This war is devastating. It's been going on for every since the creation of mankind. The forces of evil are attacking the forces of God. It's a constant battle, and we need to be prepared. We need to have our armor on. We need to make sure there's not chinks in our armor. Let's go to the Word of God today. The Word of God today comes from 1 Kings chapter 22, verses 34 and 35. By chance, a soldier shot an arrow, but he hit King Ahab of Israel between the pieces of his armor. King Ahab said to his chariot driver, Turn around and get me out of battle, because I am hurt. The battle continued all day. King Ahab was held up in his chariot and faced the Armenians. His blood flowed down to the bottom of the chariot. That evening, died. King Ahab had a chink in his armor. He had a weak spot in his armor. That weak spot was envy. Naboth, his neighbor, had a vineyard and he desired that vineyard. But he desired it so much he was sick over it. Envy had eaten him totally up. His wife Jezebel said, I'll get you the garden. She had Naboth killed. And this chink in Ahab's armor caused his death. Most of our weapons are defensive weapons. We have the belt of truth around us, the breastplate of righteousness, that shield of faith that quenches every fiery dart that the devil will throw at us, that helmet of salvation. Our only offensive weapons are the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God and prayer. Every soldier, when he's getting ready to go out into battle, the battle's coming and he's beginning to hone or sharpen his sword. And he looks at his armor and makes sure there's no weak spots in it. Then he's prepared to go to battle. He's in safety. Do we have chinks in our armor? Let's check and see. There's some, a few chinks I want to talk about this morning. The first one is the one that got Ahab, envy. Are you envious of your neighbor? Maybe you like his house better than your house. Maybe you think you deserve his house more than he does. Maybe you like his car. Maybe you think that should be your car. Maybe you desire his job, his giftings. Maybe the giftings that God has given him and you're envious of them. Be careful, that's a chink in your armor. That devil can let a fiery dart go and pierce that. Maybe lust is the chink in your armor. Not only sexual lust, but lust for everything. Lust for power. Lust for food. Lust for everything that's wrong. That is a chink in your armor. Or maybe you're full of pride. I think the bottom cause of every sin is pride. I'm better than my brother here. I'm better than all my neighbors. I have more. I have got everything. I, they don't, people don't realize when they've got pride. God has blessed them and they think it's their selves that's done it. But it's pride and we get eat up in pride. I can play an instrument better than you. I can sing better than you. I can teach better than you. I can do everything better than you. You're inferior to me. You don't have as good a car as I've got. So you must not work hard. You must be a lazy bum. We let pride eat us up. The next chink in our armor is hatred. The devil don't care what you hate. Just so you hate. 
You're gonna hate your neighbor's dog, or your neighbor's cat. You're gonna hate your neighbor because his skin color is different, or he speaks different with a different accent. Maybe he's from out west and you're from out east. Maybe he's from the north and you're from the south. We hate just to be hating. That is a chink in our armor. Maybe we're carrying around unforgiveness. Somebody did something to us a long time ago and we're carrying it. The Lord will not forgive you unless you forgive others. Is that the chink in your armor today? Unforgiveness. Or maybe it's anger. I'm just waiting on them to say something. I'll go off. I'll, I'll stomp my foot. I'll show them what I can do. You're so full of anger, it turns into bitterness. That's a chink in your armor. The devil can send that fiery dart. Maybe it's fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the known. Fear of anything. That is a chink in your armor. It's something that will cause you to be destroyed. The devil can sit a fiery dart in there. Maybe it's just doubt. That you don't really, really believe the Word of God. And that doubt is an opening in your heart. It will cause you death. Let faith rise up. Maybe it's discouragement. Nothing's ever worked in your life. No matter how hard you try, you can't prosper, you can't succeed. And it's planted in your head. That's a chink in your armor. Does your armor have chinks in it? Let us pray. Father, we love you and thank you today. We ask you, Lord, to let us be prepared for battle. There's a war raging, Lord. Let us make sure that our sword is sharp. Let us make sure, Lord, we have no weak spots in our armor. We have no unconfessed sins in our life. We thank you and love you, Lord, for saving us, for your blessed, blessed mercy. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you got your armor prepared, is your sword sharp? God bless you.